And while he may not be, you know, rolling in the riches, he's he stays true to himself, and he's always putting out a consistent brand with the the cheesy B movies that he puts out. <laughs> So, I mean, his book, everything I learned in life, I learned from the Toxic Avenger was, you know, one of those things that defined me as a child and, you know, that raising that, 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 uh, outlier banner and giving me something to, to follow. Um, but also, you know, now that time has gone on, right? So in the, in the beginning of Trauma 40 years ago, he deliberately wanted to create the anti superhero, right? So while all the all the big studios were chasing the Supermans and the Batmans and the predictable ones, he took it to the opposite level. And even though the the hero is truly the hero, he does things in a different manner. He rips people's arms off, beats them with it. He has a disgusting mouth that he uses as a weapon. And then moving further down the line, um, he had a protege uh, named James Gunn. That basically started in the basement, as far as movie studios can go. Trauma. Fast forward a couple of years today, James Gunn is now the, I call him the president of nerd, right? They gave him the keys to the DC universe, right? So literally <laughs> from the basement to the penthouse, there's probably no higher position in film that uh, that you can achieve uh, than other than uh, James Gunn. So a lot of, lot of little lessons there. In the book, I align uh, trauma with the differentiator cause alignment. Right? Everybody's quick to attach themselves to a cause. <laughs> Lloyd did it through the appreciation of underseen films. And by doing that and truly you know, resonating with what he does and his audience, he was able to attract a very young James Gunn. Um, and that now, now he's part of that lineage of, of movie history, which is now the the creme de la creme. And his his movie from four years ago, Toxic Avenger, just got purchased for a, a remake by a big Hollywood studio because everyone realizes that, you know what? Superheroes have become a commodity. Every superhero movie is the same. We need something mm -hmm. different. So now they're turning to the guy that they kind of turned their backs on 40 years ago. So he's kind of coming into his own as well. Do they have? Do they have like uh, like we talked about with Liquid Death? Do they have that kind of? Um, have they created that culture like around their their brand? And do they yeah, have so like they have massive massive cult following? Um, the owner, the CEO Lloyd. Um, if you have an independent film and you want him to star in it, he will. No questions asked. All you have to do is pay for his time, his uh, his travel. So talk about being committed to what you say you're committed to. See, helping people, helping the unseen directors get their movies seen. 